Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and I am a furniture artist and I would like to show you how I recreated this desk. It all starts with prep work. No one really taught me how to do all of this. I just kind of learned along the way. Here I glued the veneer that was bubbly and held it down with stir sticks and clamps. For this side of the repair, I sliced it open, did a little surgery, stuffed some glue in there, and rubbed it all over. I do realize what an absolute mess I am. And then decided that it needed to be trimmed a bit. You can either sand it, but I had already glued it so I couldn't really sand it. Um, so I just sliced like this little sliver off so that it could fit more comfortably together. Without having to replace the whole side. If you do try this method though, please be very, very careful. I am sure there are other better ways to do this. I slice this piece off like it's a piece of pie when you're on a diet. I then remove that small sliver. And with all the glue in there, I kind of squished it down as much as I could and then added a clamp. But you could also use a stir stick on that part too. After the glue dries, then you can put in wood filler. Use some flat edge to scrape it across to make it even and wipe off the excess. This knife that I decided to use was a terrible idea. Here I'm just wiping the excess off the sides because the sides really didn't need that and we'll sand that later. And then I did a lot of sanding. I took the whole drawers apart and glued them back together. And I sanded and I took a break and then the boss saw me so I had to get back to work and then I sanded some more. Just kidding, I'm supposed to be my own boss. Finally, time to paint. Just kidding, we have to prime it first. We're painting white, remember? Ray stencil with stucco dust. Stucco dust is a paint additive that you can add to paint and you can make these awesome textured finishes. So let's show you how to do that. pour a little bit into this cup. I don't need a lot because I want to use a little bit at a time. I don't want to waste my product. And that's just a little bit of stucco dust and you just mix it up really well. I thought it was kind of boring so I sped that up. This is the stencil that I got from Would You Bin. I just used painter's tape and taped it on. So here's my tip looking back at what I did create. Um, start at the top in the corner because the, I had to scrape this off, but it did come out pretty perfect, so I wanted to video it. Just take your mixture, you want it thick enough that it holds up on your fork. So if you add too much stucco dust, add a little bit more paint. If you add too much paint, you can add just a little bit more stucco dust. Um, I used a fork because it's what I have, um, just a plastic fork that I can throw away later. But you can also use cardboard. Um, you want something stiff though that you can put the paint on and just scrape it across your stencil so that it holds up and it's thicker than what it would be if you were just dabbing the paint on with a paintbrush.
between these two parts of the video is where I scraped off what I had done previously and just reused the mixture. Um, I started in the corner to the top left and then once it's dry you can align your stencil again and then keep going. It's a good idea to wash your stencil between um, each time you use it. That way you get the cleanest lines. The thick PCC left behind, you can pull that off before it dries, and then, or you can sand it off. Um, but now we get to paint. Um, I chose Bone from Good Bones Paint. Um, it dries super quickly. I like the finish it leaves. I did go with the chalk style paint that they have, um, and so I'll have to seal this this paint. They do have a all-in-one type of paint that you do not have to seal but I did want to try out the chalk style this time. I like to paint in all the directions and give it a good swirl so that I get it into all of those grooves. I want every bit of it painted. When this all dries you can lightly sand it back and that pattern will pop out and since we used a brown, light brown color, it'll look like wood. It'll look like a white piece with distressed wood coming through. Now we whitewash and dry brush. I start by mixing some of bone with water. You really want to thin it down. I don't really have measurements. I just go with it and then I can add more water with my mister. did get a little heavy handed with my paint. Um, I suggest adding more water than I did so you don't use as much product and you can save there.
um, and then we just wipe it back. My goal here is just to push the paint into the, all the parts of the top and the lid. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook. You can email me. I'm always down to talk paint. If you need supplies, you can find the list below. Thanks for watching today. You really made my day. Happy painting.